Tonight we're taking you on arguably one of the most sought after mule deer hunts in not just Utah, but maybe North America. Hey, I'm Adam Eagle and thanks for tuning in. We're here on Antelope Island, you know, every year for the past about 10 years, they've given away two tags for mule deer on this island. One is a draw tag for the public, the other is a conservation tag. And for the first time ever, a man has bought the conservation tag and donated it to somebody. Unbelievable, <laughs> it's one of the best gifts I've ever heard of. And uh, we're gonna take you, introduce you all to the fellas and take you on the hunt. Folks, somebody's got to be a hundred thousand dollars. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One top of it, an hundred. In 2011, Antelope Island started offering two deer tags. One is offered through the public draw. The other is auctioned off to the highest bidder. This year, Representative Mike Schultz decided to try and win the tag. It really did just happen, Adam. I I, I hadn't even thought that much about it. I love the expo. Mm -hmm. I go to it every year. I love what it does for Utah. I love what it does for hunting. I love what it does for our sport. I sold it right here. Three hundred and ten thousand dollars. How's that cowboy? That's how we do wow. it. And I thought you know what there's people out there more deserving of this tag than myself and so I, I thought you know I'm going to donate it to somebody and by the time it was all over I decided that I wanted to go with a disabled veteran. And Mike says I want to help a guy out that just went out and served his country and uh, just going through a going through a hard time or just someone that uh, probably doesn't get recognized. I want to help him out. Mike got a hold of Hunts for the Brave, a nonprofit all volunteer organization to help find a Utah veteran. And they did. His name is Tyler Jones. What part of the army? Uh, I was in the active army active. as a paratrooper in the infantry. Or how many times were you deployed? Four times. Four times. Holy cow. Yeah, I know. It just kept That's... happening over and over again. Tyler was brought up to Mike's ranch on the premise of hunting oh, turkeys. Yeah. When I saw that, that one right there on my lap, the white one. Little did he know he would be getting one of the most prized tags in Utah. You familiar with Antelope Island? Oh, yeah. And the deer on Antelope Island? Oh, yeah. How would you feel about hunting Antelope Island I this year? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> I mean, I would. Is that a yes? Related. Absolutely. All right, cheers. Really? Antelope Island, November. I think November 9th How is when it starts. <laughs> I showed up November 14th. 14th. Really? Yes. I showed up to kill, yeah. kill a bird. <laughs> I'm going to go to Antelope Island and shoot a mule deer. Hunt mule deer. All right. I'm there. Let's do it. This is real, buddy. We're, wow. We appreciate that. How did this happen? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even know what to think right now. One thing about Hunts for the Brave is we don't just take someone on a hunt and it's over. It's, it's a family. We like to stay in contact with these guys. Uh, a lot of our veterans that we take out come back and help us. We try to make it an experience and a, and a friendship that lasts a lifetime. From this day forward, you have a new family. I know you had a tough year. Don't ever feel like you're alone again. Tyler couldn't believe it. And now that I know Tyler, I know he felt he didn't deserve all of this, but he does, and so do many others. You know, it's always the, the guy that's got the most money that's out there on the hunt, and uh, a lot of times it's non-residents. I, I hope that some of our Utah guys step up and, and, and give back to the communities, to, to these guys. A few weeks after Tyler's gift was announced, we ran a story about it. Christensen Arms, a local company from Gunnison, saw the story got a hold of us and wanted to help out. I feel like something's going on now. What's going on here? So we arranged a meeting, and again, Tyler, he knew nothing about it. Is there a Tyler here? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, brother? I've got a gun case for you and a hat. Okay. That worked? Yeah, I'll take the case okay. and the hat. Cool. They said you have a 270 or something you're shooting, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Take the hat. He knew what something was up. He, he could was, tell. Yeah, he could tell. Yeah, he started asking me too many questions, man. Awesome. <laughs> oh, jeez. So you got your brand new Ridgeline FFP. Oh, oh. Uh, Adam actually lined up the scope with Vortex, I believe. Razor HD, LHT. Guns chambered in 300 PRC. Uh, it's our new lightweight, kind of a backpack in, you know, any elk, deer. It's always nice when we can do something like this right at home for for a good guy, so, and for a good cause. I appreciate it. That's all, I'm, we're glad to help, man, we're glad to help. Now Tyler just needs to get comfortable with his new gun and start scouting. Where's the deer? Way on the hill here. How many do you see? Two. Cool, good job finding them. 
It's summer, and Tyler and the guys have spent many days scouring the island looking at big bucks. Oh yeah, that's a good duck. And the best part? Tyler has been able to take his three-year-old daughter, Ella, along for the experience. Oh, I do everything with her. Everything, yeah. Take her fishing. Have, this, is, this will be her first hunting trip with me, so that'll be cool. But no, it's just daddy-daughter time. Got to raise her right, get her, keep her in the outdoors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, What does this mean to you? Just the simple fact that it <clears throat> came around when it did meant a lot to me. You've had tough. I last, you know, I had some things going on in my life and, you know, battling some depression and, you know, just going through divorce and stuff, you know, and trying to be a dad, work full time, adjusting. <clears throat> so when this, when this came around, I was like, this is, this is not real life, right? Who does this? Right. We had a lot of great guys offer help. We really did. Everybody, all the top people in the state just really reached out and wanted to be part of it. But we wanted to keep it local, keep it a little more personal. And, uh, and, and it was great. These guys worked their tails off finding that all summer long. Mike has enlisted the help of his right-hand man, Brett Bateman, to help on the hunt. Brett guides on Mike's CWMU. I started to put a team together, and Blake and Brian have been a big key, but I can't leave out Hunts for Brave and um, people like Justin Oliver and McKay Parrish. I mean, they, they put a lot of time in as well. Tyler's a way good guy. You know, I, we put in a lot of work this summer. Um, you know, I think Blake and I are both over 200 miles on our boots. You know, then when we brought Tyler out here and getting to know him, it made it all, it made it all worth it, it made it all good. Oh, he's a great guy, he's just one of the fellers, you know, he just wants to come out and look at deer and yeah. just take it in. He's... It's been cool getting to know him. It was in July when Blake, Brian, and Tyler were out checking cameras when they spotted this giant 9x10. When Brian saw him, we all put glass on him, and I saw him lift his head up to scratch his back, and I... I thought, that looks like a fairy tale creature out of a storybook. And we've found him ever since and kept tabs on him, and he's just gotten bigger, it seems like. So. He's just kind of got it all. Yeah. He's got a big frame, he's got mass, he's got cheaters. I mean, it's hard not to High like it. Yeah, it's hard not to like a deer like that. Yeah. I mean, most important part is Tyler likes him. Oh, Tyler is infatuated with him. I don't know if likes the right word, but <laughs> yeah, he's pretty wound up, and that makes it. That makes it cool. He's got, you know, matching kind of like false G2s. Great big eye guards, one's bigger than the other. He's got matching hook cheaters, matching inlines. He's got a dropper off the beam. Uh, you, you can't, like you can't draw up much more of a deer. Now the guys just have to keep tabs on the buck until November. It's the night before the hunt. Family, friends, everyone who was a part of the hunt gathered around to wish Tyler the best come morning. I think it's uh, kind of fitting that it's Veterans Day was Friday and it's this weekend that this hunt's fallen on. It's been a pleasure, you know, being able to put everyone together and make so we can be here today and do this. How is it up there? It was windy. Windy and a little cold. Oh, lonely. <laughs> so we just need to sweep around his face yes. and then shoot up. Yes. I got it, dude. About two weeks ago, the buck that Tyler has his sights set on moved from the east side of the island to the west. Tyler and the guys relocated the buck here, halfway up the mountain, rutting does and chasing off other suitors. See the cedars on that ridge? He's right there with like three or four does. We need to get to this big rock. They move around a lot right now with the rut going on and daylight. We had him turned up and I think he was getting pretty worn down because he was pretty tight from where he was last night. 1285, we gotta get another eight. We need to get another 800 plus off. Can you stay here with Adam? We're gonna try and get in this bottom. On our approach, we ended up leaving you and Mike behind. We just, not a lot of cover out here. Just with the information and how much time we spent looking at this drainage, we kind of knew our best route. We were able to get up high, dump our gear, and then sneak into position, and the buck was bedded, and 
Mike says he looks like he's got a cedar tree on top of his head. I got into position to shoot and stayed on him and Brett kept me calm and I was mentally ready. Oh, here we go. He's up. Stand up. Yep. Shoot him, stop. Let him stop. He's going right to that doe. He's going to stop and right there if you can. Did I get him? Go on safety. Oh. <laughs> God, huh? What a cool buck. Holy cow. Tyler's been uh, pretty nervous the last few, mo few months. A little nervous about the camera, a little nervous about not thinking he's deserving, but he's deserving and he just dumped a giant buck. Nice work, buddy. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. Awesome. It was so fun to watch. I hope that more people step up and do things like this. You know, I, you think about the opportunities that the veterans of this nation provided for us to live the lives we live. And there's all, you know, a whole bunch of other community heroes as well that are certainly deserving of these tags. He's huge. The biggest prize is the camaraderie, the relationships. <laughs> That's the real deal there, bud. There's a lot of big positive things that come come from this hunt. And that all spiraled from the donation from Mike. <laughs> you walked away from this hunt, though, with more than just a deer. You walked away with the family, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Brothers. Brothers, yep. That was, that was key all summer and into fall. And I've never felt so calm on a hunt in my entire life. This wouldn't happen without guys like Tyler. So we appreciate all you guys do for our country and thank you. I mean, Justin, a lot of, a lot of companies stepped up. So many people reached out. Christensen Arms reach out. Yeah, Tyler, donate a gun. Tyler did okay on that. Yeah. You know, Vortex Optics, Baku Bikes. King's the, Camo. King's Camo, you know, they always suit up all of our veterans before hunts. Good people out there. Uh, sportsmen, it seems, always step up when, uh, when their brother need a hand and, and they definitely stepped up this time, so. We encourage you to do the same when you're out with your family and friends this year. Uh, step up, take that neighbor out, take that vet out. Even if you don't kill something, as long as you're out there hunting and enjoying the great outdoors, you're doing the right thing. So I'm Adam Eagle, KSL Outdoors. We'll see you next weekend. Good night.